Hi everyone, now we will talk about Laravel route method. So till now in this series we used only one or two route methods uh, but there are lots of other route methods also available in Laravel that we will discuss in this part in depth. So first we will discuss what is a route then I let you then I'll show you the list of route methods which is available in the Laravel and here we will discuss also like on which scenario in which case we have to use which route method of Laravel. After that, we'll make HTML form and we'll see the example of all of these route methods with the help of this HTML form. At last, we'll discuss some important interview question. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel project, job and interviews. You can access this playlist from the description box of this part. So now let's move on first question. What is a route? See, whenever we are defining a URL to access any page, controller or view in Laravel, that time we can say that this is a route in our application so let me show you some examples so this is the one of the uh, uh you can say that route in our application so there we have four things in every route first one route class then route method then route url and the thing that we want to fetch or load on this url for example right now we are using user controller and user method so there can be some other page also and there can be a view also there all right so uh, here you can see that in most of the time in this uh, series till now we used get method only so uh, Similar to the this get methods. We have uh, five six more methods also that we can use according to our requirement All right, so let me show you the list So there you can see that we have get post put patch delete option and view these are the uh, route methods which is available in the Laravel so with the each of these route method, you can see that we are using route class. Then we have only two parameters URI, simply you can say that URL and callback, like which thing or which page we want to uh, load there. All right. So now let's talk about the use of these routes. So get method is basically used when we want to fetch or load any page on the browser. The other, uh, except the view and get the other, uh, routes are not basically used with the browser directly right so they are actually using the browser but for that we need some html form or something we cannot use directly like we are loading the page and see so let me show you one example there uh, so if i'm just going to inspect element and then we'll go to the network and i'll uh, refresh there you can see that on the local host we are uh, sending one request to get this page right and this is the get method and for this page we know that this is a welcome page and we are sending only get request so when we want to directly load something on the browser that time we have to use the get uh, request method or get route method but if you are using the form that time we can use the other methods also so post method is basically used when we want to store something in database or uh, like maybe if you want to store something in a uh, cookies or in local storage still that time also we can use post method right so there we are basically using a form and uh, we have to add some data to the input fields and we can send to the controller and then controller will controller will decide like what we have to do with this data we have to store it in the uh, local storage or in cookies or in session or in database similarly we have two more methods put and patch the both are basically used to update the data when we want to update any specific data that time we basically use the patch but if we want to update the complete raw data or the complete data uh, that we have that time we basically use the put delete a route method is basically used when we want to delete data from database or local storage or session from and then optional basically we don't use optional uh, options uh, route method uh, but whenever we are calling any API at that time this optional request will automatically send by the browser and it will check the page that we want to access is available or not all right so now let me create one controller and view so that we can see example with them so php artisan make controller and controller name let's say my controller name is user controller then i am making php a view also php artisan make view and my view name is also user so here you can see that we have the controller and uh, view so in this controller i am defining you can see that a function with the name of get and then i will return there 
this is get method all right okay so now let's see how we can access this directly on the browser right so it doesn't mean like get method we cannot use with the form html form that can be also used but if you want to use any uh, you want to load any page directly on the browser that time it will work only with the get route, uh, route method or yeah so now let me import this route uh, uh, user controller in our web.php so simply put there the path of this which is user controller and uh, then let me okay let me remove this one we don't need this uh, because that was a dummy uh, route right and now we can use route get there I will use user and on the user we will basically load the user controller class colon colon class so that we can tell that this is a class and in second parameter we have to put this function name there we go and now it should work if we will use the uh, routes URL user route right so if I just put there user then you can see that we can access this is a, a get method we are able to access this method so this is the example of get method and I let you just uh, know some more example also but uh, let's create a form there first right so we have user.blade.php and there I am putting one h1 tag and we can say that user form and then we can define their form and as I told you by default there is a two methods get and post we can use other methods also I let you know how but for example for a moment let's take a get whenever you will select a get method the action will be uh, you can say that uh, empty by default and the method is get so let me define some input field also let's say name is user and then placeholder we can say that enter name after that we can take two brs uh, if you want to make some space then I'll recommend you to use CSS I just want to use that because I want to save time right submit and then type can be password name is also password and enter password right so this is the uh, user.blade.php and for that let's make a route and for that what I'll do route colon colon view we can use I'm putting their form and uh, in second one we will use the user uh, view name and now if I'll say that form you, you can see that this form is actually getting loaded so now if I want to submit this page on any URL I have to put that uh, URL or route name there so right now I want to use this user only so let me put this request there and now if I'll refresh you can see that we are able to this call this method right this is a get method you can if you want to change value then that's also possible but the thing whatever we are sending there in this get request is actually go to the browser also uh, URL ad address bar also right so this is a little bit uh, you can say that unsafe or insecure right so that's why uh, with the form we mostly prefer the post method only okay so now we will use their post method and if you will directly just try to use their post method it will give you error so let me show you if I just directly submit this here you can see that post method is not supported for this route reason being because we have to define their uh, post method also so let me define their post method URL this URL can be same or different so for now I'm just keeping it same because method is different and let me just call this different method also there so let me make one more method post and this is a post method so will now this work the answer is no let me show you why let's try to submit it and now you can see that we are getting 
419 page expires for that because this is a security thing and I don't want to go in much detail about uh, uh, the thing that I'm using there but I will create a separate part for this so there for the security you can simply use their CSRF token and now if you will refresh and uh, uh, submit it you can see that this is perfectly working fine but see still the get method is getting called reason being we have to call their post method with this right so let's go back and then refresh and if i'm to submit again now you can see that this is a post method okay so uh, let's see how we can use their uh, put method now so let me create their uh, put function let's say that this is a put method and in web.php similarly i'm de defining one more route put url can be same and then put method of this user controller and then in user php if i just put their uh, put method will it work no actually reason but see the error first if i just submit you can see that this is actually going a get request okay so uh, why this is get requesting because by default html form support only two methods get and post and if i just put something else there like put abc delete anything that will by default it will understand this is a, a get method only so how we can fix that for that you have to take a one more input field then the type of this will be hidden and it keep in mind whatever i'm mentioning it should be the same only right then uh, there we can mention a name and name will be if you want to use the put patch or delete you have to put underscore then method right and then you have to provide the value is put and keep in mind that time the request method should be post only all right and now if i'll just go back there refresh and submit now you can see that this is a put method and this request will go to the this put method with the user uh, url and this put put method of user controller will be getting call so now let's try with the last one which is delete let's define the delete route for this all right so after that in user.blade.php let's simply put there delete and you will see this is perfectly working fine go back refresh and you can see that okay put method why this is coming because we have to change their delete method and we this defined the delete function in there in user controller so go back refresh and see delete method is getting old so that's all for this part if you still have any doubt and confusion you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much. And I'll request you to like this video, share your feedback in comment section. And uh, you can uh, uh, subscribe my channel. This is a Paytm number for donation if you want to do donate something.